This morning, our speaker is Shira Tamura. Shira is currently a senior at Pacifica Buddhist Academy. During her, during her free time, she enjoys practicing and performing, performing Japanese classical dance, singing Japanese songs, practicing sanshin, performing taiko, and playing sports. You're really busy. <laughs> she is also involved in various community organizations. In 2017, Shira became the Junior Young Buddhist Association's Federation State President. Her goal is to inspire the younger generation to believe in themselves and their dreams. She wants to express a special thank you to Auntie Joy Nishida for giving her countless opportunities and for always supporting her. Welcome, Shira. Thank you. Man, I had a self-introduction ready, but I think you pretty much summed it up, so thank you very much. Um, thank you everyone for allowing me to speak at your service today. Um, I am Shira Tamura, and I am 17 and a senior at Pacific Buddhist Academy. Okay, so the theme of my presentation today is, it's a small world after all. Today I'm going to be showing you pretty much like a photo album of my life, and that it's a small world after all. It's actually a Buddhist teaching that can be shown throughout the Dharma. So the first topic is the Hompa Hongganji Mission of Hawaii. The Hompa Hongganji Mission of Hawaii has given me so many opportunities. I have been able to go on different cultural exchanges, such as Ubixi, or which stands for the Young Buddhist International Cultural Exchange. From there, I was able to meet people my age from the mainland, Brazil, Japan, Canada, and from Hawaii. I also had the opportunity to study abroad in Japan during the Oshogatsu time, or the New Year's. From there, I was able to learn about the Japanese life, and I was very busy at that time making and eating mochi. But it was a really great experience to, ex experience to view family life in Japan. Another opportunity was Yes Camp. Yes Camp gives me the opportunity to connect with the younger generation. It makes me happy to see kids across the state of Hawaii learning and taking an interest in Buddhism. And lastly, Waipahu Konganji. So I realized that no matter where I go in the world, whether it be to Japan or to temple or to the Betsuin, I can always come back to my family temple. I always enjoy helping out there, and it makes me feel special that I have a family there. And I'm so lucky to have their support. So my next topic is Junior YBA. So what is Junior YBA? Well, Junior YBA is the Junior Young Buddhist Association. And I believe that Junior YBA prepares 21st century leaders within the Hongganji. I've been a part of Junior YBA for four years now, and the experience was nothing but remarkable. But what do we do? Well, we do a lot of community service. One year, we had a Catholic charity partnership where we, where we packed care packages, such as toothpaste or any supplies that the Catholic charities may need. We held at different bond dance events. We marched in the Martin Luther King Parade on Oahu and we celebrated and created Peace Day in Hawaii. But now it is my goal to create the 21st century leaders who will think outside the box. I believe that we need to create leaders who will stand up for what they believe and to never give up on their dreams. Because I know that with a diligent mind and an open heart, they are able to accomplish anything they desire. So actually, I'm very proud that Wyatt is a junior YBA member. So go out and do great things, Wyatt. <laughs> and lastly, Pacific Buddhist Academy. So PBA has introduced me to Buddhism. Believe it or not, I came from Marino School, which is a Catholic school. But ever since I came to PBA, I fell in love with the teachings and the lifestyles of Buddhism. Last year, I had the opportunity to attend the Gomon Chuo session ceremony in Kyoto. And going on that trip reminded me why I became a Buddhist, with a Buddhist woman and made me proud to be a Buddhist in this world. PBA also introduced me to Taiko, and Taiko helped me to find harmony in every aspect of life. 
And also at PBA, as you can see in the picture, we take a different approach to learning. For example, for our environmental science class, we go on various hikes or go to the beach. Um, looking at the different species from the mountains to the ocean made me realize that we are all connected in this small but big world. We are interdependent to one another. And lastly, PB taught me about a quote of Noblesse Oblige, to whom much is given, much is expected. On the top left corner picture, I created a Big Island trip tour for my school with the goal of giving back to our neighbor island temples on the Big Island. There, we traveled to four different temples and we performed and showed their gratitude for all their support. So PBA has taught me the meaning of gratitude and that lesson will stay with me for the rest of my life. So in summary of my talk, I just wanted to highlight five points. Buddhism opens minds and hearts. So listen, I encourage you to listen and to accept the teachings and let your body fill and open your mind for the week after you go to temple. Then you will see things in a brighter and better perspective. And we just all set the golden chain of love. But really, really embrace it. Each of us is very important in this world and each of us has so much to offer. Keep that link strong by sharing the Dharma around with you. Then maybe you'll open someone's heart and mind. And that's how you make a positive change in this world. Third is each moment is an Ichigo Ichie moment. Each moment only happens once in a lifetime. Therefore, cherish each moment as each one is irreplaceable and live life with no regrets. And lastly, as we may have many different families in our lives, we must all realize that the world is connected and we must show our gratitude. As I grew up, as I said, I realized that I have many different families. Junior YBA family, my dancing family, my PBA family. So many different families every day. But no matter what family you're with at the moment, always remember where you came from. And always show gratitude to those who helped you. Okage sama de. I am who I am because of you. Okay, so I thought maybe we should sing a song. Maybe we should sing a song today. So does everybody know it's a small world after all? Yes? Okay, so sing loud. <laughs>
interruptions. <laughs> but thank you for singing. So thank you so much for listening to my talk. And before I end, I want to share this quote by Brian Tanimoto from the Big Island. He said, enter the, enter the temple to hear the teachings and leave the temple to live the teachings. So go forth and live the teachings. Thank you very much. Yeah.